Hello and welcome to the last tutorial of this series. Today we are going to be making an asteroid explosion. So let's look at the asteroid explosion. Just go in here, hit the play button, select a level and let's go to a asteroid. And now if I shoot the rocket, I'm going to see a couple of explosions right here in the dark. Bam, bam, bam. This is going to be the last tutorial in this series. So please hit the subscribe button, like, enjoy and yeah, share it as you can. Let's get started. And as always, you can get this scene and the end scene from the links down below. Let's start by right clicking in the hierarchy and go to effects and let's create a particle system this does not look like an explosion so let's first off change the renderer so for the material you want to select the where is it the smoke material we used it on the rocket and this looks good and now you can collapse the renderer and for the particle system let's select a different color some kind of orange would be probably smart to do let's also go to the shape right here and instead of a cone i want a sphere for the radius i want 0 0.5 that's better that's it for the shape so let's collapse that bad back up and open up the emissions tab and for the rate over time just set it to something like zero and let's add a click on click event right here and for the count let's make it 40 and now already if I restart it, you can see the explosion happening right here. That's quite good. And let's also go to the limit over velocity tab and you probably have to click on the enable button. And for the speed, let's do something like 0.5 and dampen something like 0.4. And this looks very good like this. This is going to be basically our explosion, but let's make it a little bit faster. So go to the particle system up here and rename the particle system to explosion like this. And now the particle system right here, the top tab should also change to the explosion. And for the duration, let's select like something like one second. So it's faster. If I restart it, it's going to be just faster on, it, on itself. Set the start lifetime to something like two. And for the start size right here, go to the far right and select random between two constants. And let's do something 0 0.5 to one. And also the start rotation. So it looks different every single time. Let's go again, random between two constants and from zero to 360. And now if I restart it and restart it again, the explosion is going to look different every single time. And of course, the looping has to be set off like this. And bam, I have an explosion. And yeah, that's what we want. Now go to the prefab solar, drag and drop your explosion in here and then delete it from the hierarchy. And let's set it up. Let's go to the asteroid prefab, click on it. And we want the asteroid explosion to be right here after we kill the asteroid. So let's double click on the asteroid controller. Let's add a public particle system and call this the explosion. And now down at the bottom where we actually destroy the asteroid right here, we have a particle effect comment. So under the comment, just make a simple instantiate. And we want to instantiate the explosion prefab right here. And for the position, we want to transform the position of the asteroid. And for the rotation, just do quaternion.identity. We do not want to rotate it at all. And we are not going to do these two things. And that's basically it for the destroy asteroid function. We are done with that. Awesome, save that and now go back to Unity and to your prefabs folder. And now we have to set up the explosion prefab right here for every single file. So just drag and drop the game object to the asteroid one, click on asteroid two, do the same thing, asteroid three, and do not forget the golden asteroid or you will get a null reference. And now if I go to the game and hit the play button and just go to the play and hit level one, I will be able to focus on an asteroid right here, this asteroid that's red. And now it will explode right here bam and bam and then the explosion will vanish so it looks a little bit more realistic like this awesome and as a note at the end this is going to be the last tutorial in the series if you want me to do anything else like i don't know add sounds or whatever you can imagine please let me know i might consider doing it if there's enough people and enjoy the next tutorials that are coming and see you in the next ones bye